Hey guys and welcome to the most overpowered players ever. Today I'm going to show you some of the most OP players you've ever seen and this is since Ultimate Team began. So yeah, let's go. So starting off in goal for the most overpowered players in the history of Ultimate Team, it is the Man City goalkeeper Joe Hart. I mean this guy every year on Ultimate Team is just insane but for me last year on FIFA 13 he was by far the most overpowered goalkeeper on the game. Look at this triple save, insane triple save there by Hart and yeah he was ridiculous last year on that game. Next up though in the centre back position as one of the most overpowered defenders ever it is the FIFA 10 version of Everton's Joseph Yobo this guy had ridiculous pace 87 pace this guy you just could not get past him at all on the game he was insanely overpowered on that game next to the right back though guys is Cicinho this guy was a really really uh, good skiller and especially for a defender you know this guy had four star skill moves on the game and some of the long shots I scored with Cicinho guys and even skill runs you know they were so ridiculously good fun to use he was so good and and so incredibly overpowered though at the same time you know Cecenia was a very good fun player to use um, but he was also stupidly overpowered for a silver right back then next up in the team Ugh, sorry, a big burp. We go with um, we go with Ivan Cordoba, this legend from Inter Milan, retired a few years ago. But what a player he was! I don't think he really ever got the credit he deserved at international club level. But he was a very good defender for them, and he um, yeah, 89 pace, very good defending because that's there as well. And he was a godly god on that game. Next up in the team is uh, FIFA 12. And it is Ty Tywo, one of the most exciting players on Ultimate Team. Look at that volley. I mean, holy shit, he was good. He, um, yeah, his free kicks, his long shot, his defending was good. It was really solid as well. And overall, you know, Ty Tywo was just an amazingly good fun player to use. He was, he probably would be my favourite ever left back in the history of Ultimate Team. Next up as the most overpowered CDM, we go with David Luiz. We thought he was overpowered as a centre-back. He was even more overpowered as a CDM and you could even use him as a striker I mean holy crap he was overpowered I mean some of the long shots you could score with him were insane and a lot of people did use David Luiz by the way as a striker when that man of the match card came out next up though in the most overpowered players ever we go with Hatem Ben Arthur and this guy has um, yeah on FIFA 12 he had an inform, and oh my god, his inform was ridiculous. Five star skill moves, 90 pace, and couple of those stats with the fact that he had a good shot, he had a good passing stat as well. And yeah, he was insane. And this is actually my man Kazooie94, really cool skiller. And yeah, I mean, this guy was amazing at skills. But with Ben Arthur, you could do stuff like that. I mean, three in a row, and he just demolished that defense. Kazooie doing his skilling as always. Be a really cool goal there by Ben Arthur. And he was just insane. I remember his inform, um, especially for his uh, long shot. I mean, long shots were more so like more prevalent in the past FIFAs but still Ben Arthur was a quality and very overpowered player in that game next up in the team is one of my favorite left mids probably alongside Nene from PSG it is uh, Michel Bastos and this was again another informed card so we are going with two overpowered informs in this team and yeah this is just you know Bastos he was just so overpowered his left foot was a one and the amount of free kicks he scored with his left foot guys was just insane Bastos was and will always be for me one of the most overpowered left wingers or left midfielders you'll ever come across on FIFA he was insane then we go with the cam who really was the most overpowered cam maybe ever an autumn team it is Giovanni this guy had such smooth skills and just scored so many long shots it was insane he scored so many goals from that kind of distance and Giovanni will always be for me one of the most overpowered players ever on FIFA in fact he'd probably be in the top five I mean look at the dip on that holy crap Oh my god. Giovanni there guys in the team but in terms of the most overpowered players guys do let me know in the comments below who do you think is the most overpowered player in the history of FIFA comment below with their name and I'll have a look at who got the most votes but then we go with um, the player who Bateson used a hell of a lot last year it is Alexandra Esvine the striker who apparently isn't very good in real life yet on FIFA 13 he was insane I think he had four or skill moves as you can see there and he just really did tear teams apart and will be remembered as one of the most overpowered slash kind of sweat players ever in his and history of FIFA then we go with the final player in this team it is Victor Ebarbo not really surprised this one but a lot of you guys voted for this one and he even has uh, sweat on his forehead there on foot whiz but yeah there is um, Ebarbo and he completes the starting 11 for the most overpowered players ever on FIFA and yeah Ebarbo there with the finesse goal and he is just ridiculously overpowered this year uh, another player by the way who isn't actually a strike in real life he actually plays in the right wing position but yeah there's your team guys and more you think about this team and let's go on to the bench we start off with the team of the year Bastos on FIFA 12 he 
was insane. Really, really defined a blue overpower card. We have Kevin Morales there who looked like a cheap Ronaldo. We then go with FIFA 11 in for Marlos. And then we have the very, very overpowered cheap player. And this is actually my cheap Messi video I did last year. I love doing those kind of videos, hidden gems. And yeah, he was just so clinical on that game. I would love to go back and play Ultimate Team guys on previous FIFAs. So do leave a like button below if you want to see me play some retro FIFA. We then go with Adair from FIFA 14. He is just crazily good this year. And yeah, I do use him in quite a few teams. We then go with the uh, final two players here. We go with Veruna Kone. And to complete the team here, guys, of the most overpowered players ever, we uh, add the player here called Marcos Asensau. And what a long shot he had. He was so overpowered. So who's the most overpowered player ever? Comment below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button below and subscribe for more. And see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you